Tonight, the city of Clearwater has a new mayor. The city council just decided to appoint former mayor Brian Angst Sr. to the job with the stipulation he won't run for the mayor's seat next year when his interim term is up. He's taking over the role after Frank Hibbard suddenly resigned last week. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is looking into how this transition will work. This was the moment that shocked so many in Clearwater last week. This is probably one of the toughest things I've ever done in my entire life. Frank Hibbard resigned as mayor, saying he didn't like the direction the city is headed. Most notably, talk of spending $90 million on a new city hall and municipal building. This is simple math, and we're not doing very well on the test. But today the city council voted to bring back a familiar face to take over as mayor on an interim basis until March of next year. It's former two-term mayor Brian Onx Sr. I think he'll do a fine job up here. I look forward to working with him, all of us collaboratively. The council also agreed that Onx should not be allowed to run for mayor when his interim term is done. I talked with another former mayor, George Credicos, who is not eligible to fill the spot because he's no longer living in Clearwater. He said he was definitely surprised by Hibbard's resignation. You always want things to go your way, but you also realize that the beauty of our system of government is that you don't get your way all the time. We're, we're not a, a king, we're not a dictator. The city of Clearwater has had its share of instability lately, including three different city managers, an investigation into their recycling program, and now this. I think Clearwater is still a great place to call home. It's a leader in, in the Tampa Bay, Bay area for you know, the beaches, for tourism. It has a high quality of life. There's some hiccups, but you know, that happens. I also reached former Mayor Frank Hibbert on the phone. He told me he's been reflecting on the sudden resignation, but not second guessing his decision. He says he still believes the new city hall and municipal building would be a tremendous waste of money and hopes his move is drawing attention to how the city is spending taxpayers' money. In Clearwater, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Eric, thank you. Meanwhile, we wanted to take a look at Mayor Frank Hibbard's political career in Clearwater. He started his political climb when he was elected to city council back in 2002, and then he decided to run for mayor. That was winning that seat in 2005, and from there he won re-election before having to leave office in 2012 due to term limits. But after some time away, he then decided to serve, or after serving multiple boards, he decided to run for mayor again in 2020, winning with 55% of the vote. Then, just last Monday, as you remember, Mayor Hibbard made the shocking announcement that he was resigning during a budget workshop. 